Guys, in this video I'm going to tell you how I got from Malaysia to Manila and back to Dumaguete before the 30-day lockdown in Manila. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I uh, headed out from Dumaguete actually to Cebu, got my exit clearance so I could leave the Philippines. Exit clearance is when you've stayed in the Philippines at least six months and you have to uh, when you get to the three-year mark you have to actually do the exit clearance leave come back and the whole tourist visa would start over again um, I'll leave that for a separate video but point is I went to Cebu got my exit clearance uh, headed out to Malaysia um, checked it out as a future place to live interviewed with a few jobs Right. Yeah, so when I, when I was out in Malaysia, it was great just to get away from like pollution, you know, the s pollution of the jeepneys and tricycles and uh, some of the craziness in the Philippines and just kind of unwind. Um, Malaysia is great, Kuala Lumpur in particular, just for the beautiful parks and, um, you know, just uh, very organized. Uh, it's just a very modern city uh, with beautiful parks and just uh, beautiful condos and the Airbnbs are just really good quality and the variety of food is just amazing too so it was it was good to uh, get out to Malaysia jobs and uh, meanwhile while this was going on what was unfolding in the Philippines was another outbreak uh, in particular Manila it set uh, Manila into a little bit of a panic, or the Philippines in general. And the president uh, then put into place that he would put in a lockdown of Manila, meaning uh, no domestic flights, buses, anything, uh, ships, no air, land, or sea in or out of Manila. So the only way for me to get back home from Malaysia would be a direct flight to Manila and this particular lockdown happened on the 15th so I wasn't originally going to come back till uh, actually the 16th I was gonna wait the weekend and it was because ticket prices were cheaper if I waited till after the weekend to leave Malaysia well um, I heard about this in the news about them talking about a potential lockdown and I said you know what I need to get out of here um, I had already checked out Malaysia this is my second time there I had uh, checked out the jobs so I then got online and uh, ended up finding a pretty good deal to uh, from Malaysia to Manila early in the morning and then from Manila to Dumaguete well just as I bought the ticket literally maybe uh, a couple hours later they officially put in the lockdown and the lockdown was for the 15th and uh, my ticket was for the 14th luckily leaving in the morning so I just barely got it I was still quite nervous um, when I flew into Manila I had uh, a bit of a layover so I went outside and uh, and checked out just to see you know the craziness and uh, the lines were absolutely nuts everybody had masks on um, you could tell just people were just panicking and rushing to try to get out of Manila before they were locked down and stuck in Manila um, people who had went there for work or looking for work or went to visit family or, or whatever and uh, tourists as well a lot of foreigners were trying to fly into various other cities and then trying to go to Clark Airport or Cebu so they could fly home. So it was extremely chaotic. I've never seen it quite like that before. Uh, Manila in general is extremely populated and the airport gets quite uh, crazy at times, but n nothing like this. Um, I was lucky to, to probably see maybe one or two people you know uh, out of the huge crowds that didn't have a mask unfortunately that was one of the guys who didn't have a mask um, I didn't have a mask with me and I couldn't find one they're all sold out so anyway I had I had went through the whole uh, line uh, back into the airport went through the um, you know uh, 
security again and it was just chaotic I couldn't even find a seat while I was waiting for my uh, trip back to Jumagedi I pretty much had to stand against the wall so I took an opportunity to do a little filming um, and, and just you know look at all the chaotic <laughs> things going on with people panicking and rushing and everybody wearing a mask and um, it was it was quite crazy so I did get back to Dumaguete. When I got back to Dumaguete, uh, immediately they make you fill out this form before they let you l even leave the airport. They do the temperature scan and uh, make you fill out a form to see where have you been, where you're going, where you're staying. Um, they're really trying to track this um, virus and everything. Um, and they want to know everything about you, where you're going to be, where you've been, and things like that. So. I made it back to Dumaguete. Um, I'm going to try to get back to Malaysia as quickly as I can um, before more lockdowns occur. And I'm going to either have to do that via Clark or via Cebu. Um, there are other lockdowns going on right now. There's the lockdown in Bohol. There's a, a lockdown. Um, I think actually in Davao as well um, and if more cases pop you know pop up here then um, yeah you, you just don't know what's gonna happen so you know it took me a while and uh, I got back home but it was certainly a chaotic day definitely chaotic glad to be back here in Dumaguete and uh, I'll probably have to go through this again because uh, now it's time to um, be moving on to Malaysia here uh, pretty soon so guys if you are traveling out to the Philippines remember Manila is locked down you can actually international flights can actually go into Manila but then you can't go anywhere you're locked down so I don't know why you'd want to fly in um, you can still fly into Clark you can fly into Cebu um, but there's various countries that aren't allowed into the Philippines right now so to be honest for the next 30 days or so i probably wouldn't try to make any plans to go into the philippines i would uh, do my best to just ride it out and uh and wait and uh hopefully if you're watching this video if you're still in manila well i, I think you're going to be there for the next 30 days so enjoy um manila like i've said I, i'm not really a fan i do however i do like makati i like bgc um i like um uh what is it called uh century city um some really nice condos in that area the century mall um that's a really nice area nice sidewalks to walk great restaurants a uh, bit more expensive but uh, high end so if you want to go in and spend a couple days there that's a nice place too so questions comments uh, let me down below and uh, we'll have that conversation down there and i will see you guys next time